Hey, what's up, guys? Wacky Weirdo here. And as you know, my channel's been lacking content lately. And the reason for that is I'm addicted. And what I'm addicted to is fucking Pokemon Go. All right. And my addiction has gotten dangerous because this is all I do. Ever since I started playing Pokemon Go and caught my first Ratatata, I was fucking hooked. This fucking little free game is like virtual crack. Once you get your first taste, you can't stop. You just want to keep playing. Like I find myself late at night, 2 a.m. in the fucking morning. Nobody's out. I'm just laying in bed butt naked staring at the ceiling like, hmm, I should put on some clothes and shoes and go out and try and find a rare Pokemon. And I do. I find myself getting up, getting dressed. I'm walking outside. There's some dangerous neighborhoods in my area. There, there have been some murders around here over the years. You know, I'm putting my life at risk to catch some stupid fucking virtual Pokemon. And it's crazy. But luckily, I haven't been murdered yet. But I have caught a shit ton of Pokemon because of my dedication. I've been putting hours into this game. Me and my cousin, we've been riding around, going to different cities and shit, looking for rare Pokemon. We've been walking a lot. You know, it's actually a good thing because we've been getting a lot of exercise lately. You know, before this app came out, we were sitting around playing computer games and watching Netflix and shit. And now we actually get out and do shit, man. We burn calories. We get our fucking legs in shape thanks to this fucking addictive ass fucking game that I need to fucking quit because it's fucking taking over and consuming my goddamn life. I'm going to need a fucking intervention. But anyways... Let me go ahead and show you, uh, let me scroll here, I'm going to scroll through my Pokédex right quick. Now as you can see, these are all the motherfucking Pokémans that I've caught so far, like I have been putting in work. As you can see, I almost caught a Blastoise, that motherfucker popped up when I was cruising around and I was like, I got to catch this motherfucker, so I throw a raspberry at it. I throw an ultimate ball at it. The ultimate ball are supposed to make catching Pokemon a lot easier. But guess what? This motherfucker breaks out of the ultimate ball and then he runs away. And I was so fucking pissed. I was like, I don't even get a couple of chances. This motherfucker's going to break out of the ultimate ball after feeding him a raspberry. Oh, I was so pissed. Haven't found a Venusaur anywhere. I'm still like... 30 Bulbasaur candies away from getting a Venusaur, it sucks. And I'm like uh, 22 uh, Squirtle candies away from getting a Blastoise. But as you can see, I got the Charizard. I got the Big Dick B. Uh, got Wigglytuff, Nine Tails. I got Kadabra. Gotta get that Alakazam soon, because Alakazam is probably one of my favorite Pokemons of all time. Got my Machamp. My Machamp's badass. He, he's my favorite so far that I have. Him, Charizard, and Polyrath. I think those are my top three right now. Uh, I got Haunter. He's one of my favorites right there. But yeah, this is my Pokédex. Got, got that Jinx. I just caught her earlier today. She's only a uh, 213 CP, but still, man, just the fact that I caught a Jinx, I was fucking happy. I was jumping for joy. Like the first time I got pussy. And I got my Dratini, got my Dragonair. Can't wait to turn this little motherfucker into Draga, Dragonite. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. I'm still about 40 Dratini candies away from uh, getting a Dragonite. As you can see, I got the Kabutops. I got that Aerodactyl. I found that shit like two days ago. I was just out in the middle of nowhere. There weren't no Pokestops nearby. But this motherfucker just pops up out of nowhere. And I'm like, fuck to the fucking yes. Managed to catch it with my first ball too. Which was crazy. It was a great ball. I didn't even use any raspberries. But yeah, that's my Pokedex. As you can see, there's nothing around where I live. This place is dead. But uh, a couple miles away, there's, there's some decent Poke stops and shit. And that's where our, me and my buddy go and we start catching all these freaking Pokemon. Alright, so here goes all the Pokemons that I currently have in my database. 
who I forgot about my ride true got my ride true that motherfucker took forever to get because I had to find Pikachu's and as you know Pikachu Squirtles Bulbasaur's and Charmander's are some of the hardest little motherfuckers to get in this game and every time I find one I'm so excited because I'm like yes got some Pikachu candy so I can finally evolve them so I did I finally got to evolve him today after the long hunt for Pikachu's oh you want to know my favorite just because of the noise it makes I'll show you my favorite I think I already done passed it didn't I Oh yeah, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, those two are my favorites. Problem is the CP on both of them are really low. I'm going to have to start using my Stardust and the candies to level them up a little bit. Uh, finally got that Gyarados. His CP is a lot lower than I would like it to be, but I mean, it is what it is. At least I got one. You know, it took me forever. I was collecting Magikarp over and over and over again i don't know why they require 400 magikarp to get a gyarados everything else is either 25 candies it's 50 candies or 100 candies but to get a fucking gyarados you gotta have 400 magikarp candies like what the fuck nianic as you see i got the uh the Pyreon, jolteon and the flareon three of my favorite pokemons right there the Aerodactyl, Kabutops, the Amistar, the Magmar, the Electabuzz. Some of these bigger ones I hatched in eggs. But for the most part, I think I've pretty much caught all of these in the wild. There has been a few that I have evolved myself. Like uh, this right here, I evolved my Poliwag into a Poliwhirl, my Poliwhirl into a Poliwrath, which is pretty awesome. I evolved my Growlithe into my Arcanine, my Mankey into my Primeape. Now where the f... Oh, there it is. Eekin. You want to know why this is my favorite motherfucking Pokemon? Just because of the sound it makes. Listen. <laughs> it sounds like he's farting, man. He's a fucking farting snake. Like you could just walk around like in a Walmart or the mall or a flea market and have your phone up with Eakin and then just click on Eakin as you're walking by and have your phone all the way turned up and it'll sound like you pass gas and you'll have people just looking at you funny like did he really just do that? Jeff, what a gross prick. I think I may have sharted myself. But yeah, he's, he's my favorite, not because of uh, the way he looks or his CP, but just because he makes that fucking fart sound. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it's just hilarious. This is my baby right here, though. The CP's a lot lower than I'd like it to be. I'm, I'm going to try my damnedest to get it to fucking 2,000 CP within the next couple of days. So far, it's only 1231. Um, I caught it, though. I caught it out in the wild. I did not evolve this one. When I caught it, it was like 1067 or something like that. And then I uh, used some Stardust and Charmander candy to bring it up to 1231. But I'm going to try my damnedest to get it to 2000 CP within the next few days. But yeah, so those are, those are my Pokemons right there. I got a shit ton of them, man. It's crazy. I mean, like I said, I've been at this shit hardcore, like day in, day out. Me and my cousin, we just been playing the fuck out of it. Like, like fucking idiot losers. We've been treating uh, Pokemon Go like it's our job, man. Motherfuckers need to hire us to collect all the Pokemon because we'll be on that shit all day, every day, no problem. Getting that overtime. But yeah, I'm hooked on it. I know eventually I'm going to get tired of this game and I'm going I'm to quit it. But as of right now, man, it's just it's nice to have something to focus on to take my mind off of the depression, the stress, and all the bullshit that's going on in my life right now, you know. So I just, it's nice to focus on some uh, some Pokemans, you know what I'm saying? Because you get go out and you meet other people who are playing it, even though a lot of people we met are on the opposite teams from us because we're Team Mystic. A lot of people don't like Team Mystic, I don't know why. We've been taking over some gyms in my area though. We've been kicking ass. But uh... That's the dogs and bitches. It's getting crazy. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed my Pokemon showcase. I'm going to go ahead and go to Pokemon Rehab now. Until next time, catch you later, fuckers.